They've got to be lit on the sidelines. How are we going to find some open space to complete a pass and find open room to run? This defense all night long has squeezed down the passing lanes, made plays on the football. It's really been a thing of beauty for them. He's got to figure all day long prepping for the game. They had to have talked about it again and again. Squeeze pass. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Frank Clark coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, <laughs> alert for anything out there. Watching for trouble on the road and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if we can drive the bus here again on this drive. It's caught. Lock it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, get a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Wilson. He's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A gain of 32 that time. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Will throw again. They'll look and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Janikowski now for the point after. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. Out 
out to kick is Janikowski. Free kick out of bounds. And the kickoff sails out of bounds, and that's going to be a penalty. You can see the looks on the faces of the rest of the team. You have one job to do. Just kick the ball and play. Well, that's exactly right, Charles. The kicker, and this is just inexcusable. Absolutely inexcusable. Everyone out there slugging it out for the entire game. Execute your job. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Garoppolo now. Just 6 of 15 through the air. Not good, but first and 10 here. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go, here we go. Garoppolo on first down. A dump down to McKinnon. And he'll go down at the 28. Call it a three-yard game, and it'll bring up a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And bringing it in, this is Selleck over the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. And the ball is knocked out, and the Seahawks have recovered. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through, and that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. Gets around him, and he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play 